Hi everyone. So this is a continuation of the uh, Coach Online Office, and so I'm going to share my screen with you guys again and show you a little bit more about um, a couple things that you can find in there. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your coach online office. And so you remember all this from last time. And you're going to go into my business. Um, out of all the tabs up here, this is the one that you use most. So the first one we'll go into is my preferred placement. So before you sign up a coach, you need to set your placement. Um, so this, I want you to do this right away. Usually the first time you'll go in, you'll see that it's clicked on automatic placement. You don't want that. You want to click it on set preferred placement. Then you want to put in your coach ID in this spot. And then your position, usually it's set automatically on this. But you want to have it either on your left or your right. Okay, so for your first coach, um, you can really put it on either. And you could talk to your upline coach about which uh, side you want to set it on. But for right now, just make sure it's not on one of, on weak outside leg, first available, or weak leg, first, first available. Put it on either left or right. And then you're going to click Save. Okay? So that is for my, per, my preferred placement. All right, then let's go into my downline. There's really two uh, tabs that I pull up in my downline. One is personally sponsored. If you click on that, you'll see all of your personally sponsored coaches. And you'll see their phone numbers, their emails. If you go over, you can see their join date, if they're a club member, what leg they're on, um, what rank they are, and most importantly, if their account is active or inactive. And you can also see their, how many success club points they have uh, so far this month. Okay. Now the one that I like to go into more is called sponsorship drill down. You see all of the same stuff that you see in there, but you can pull down and see the coaches that are underneath your personally sponsored coaches. So I like to be able to see that. So that way I can check out to see if even um, coaches under me are active or inactive. And then I can pull it down again to see even further down the line which coaches are active or inactive. That way I can um, talk to my coaches to let them know if somebody's inactive so they can fix it uh, before it affects their rank. So this I go into probably every single day. Okay, the next one is my volume. So what you do with my volume is you can see over here, you really want to look just at the left volume or, and the right volume. And you can just see that um, if you look at my left volume, it's pretty much always doubled my right volume, which tells me that my left leg is my strong leg and my right leg is my weak leg. So that's what the volume will tell you. So like for last week, this is how much volume I had on my right. And this is how much volume I had on my left. And now we just started a new week today. And this is how much volume I have so far. Okay. If you go into my customers, you can go into customer search. And you can pull up all of your customers right here. Um, you can look and see their emails, their phone numbers, their addresses. If you want to um, contact them their join date, when their last order was. If you are looking for a specific customer, you can go into advanced customer search and you just type in their name. Let's say Nicole. You can just type in a first name, show report, and it will bring up all your Nicoles. Okay. Then another one that I use is my orders. This is your personal order, so stuff that you ordered, but the one that I really check all the time is my customer's order, so after they order something, I check to make sure it went through. 
So I usually I scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, and I will um, check and see who's ordered things lately. You can see when things are returned, it has a negative sign there. How much volume you get? Okay. Um, my earnings that tells you how much you earn each week, which is basically the same thing as my weekly commissions. So it tells you, um, you know, let's say on October 23rd, between October 23rd, 2014 and October 29th, 2014, this is how much money I made. Okay. Um, so that's where I go every Thursday morning to check and see how much money I made that week in this business center. And the other one that I use a lot is my forms and documents. Um, there's a bunch of different forms in here, but one that you'll use a lot is the challenge pack free coach enrollment and online request form. That's when you sign up a coach and they have to pay the $43 sign up fee. And if they bought a challenge pack in the past, they can click on this. And all they have to do is fill in this information and hit submit, and that, that $43 will be refunded to them. Okay? But there's a bunch of different forms that you can look at in my forms and documents. And the last one I want to show you under my business is my EFT management. And that is how you get paid. So you can get paid um, using a mail check, but they take money out of that to mail you a check. And it just makes more sense to have your money put right into your bank account every Thursday morning. So you, the first thing you should do is make sure you fill this out. All you need is your, the bank name, your routing number, your account number, and what type of account it is. Save it, and then you'll see every Thursday morning the money will go right into your account. Okay? If you want to get back to the online office whenever you're, whenever you're in one of these um, tabs, all you have to do is click the top circle of Team Beachbody and it will bring you back. Okay? So there's a bunch of different things that you can go through in here. Sales and marketing. Um, you can buy different things to, uh, you know, you can buy business cards and posters and all different things that you can use in here, but you'll find that my business tab is the one that you're going to use the most. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I'm going to have a couple questions for you um, to answer, and that's it. So that's assignment two. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just post below or message me. Thanks. Bye.